So I wanted to show you guys underneath my sink because honestly, I've had it like this now for quite a while and it's working well. Not all of this is from Dollar Tree. I do have a Dollar Tree hack that I'm gonna show you under here, but I wanted to show you what I do to kind of stay organized. One is I have this big Lazy Susan under here, which is great for keeping all of my cleaning products on it. I can just rotate it and get what I need. I have been loving, oh my gosh, you guys, this power scrubber is my new favorite cleaning tool. I will link it down in the description box if you guys are interested in this. For my trash bags, I just keep them in this little tin. It works great. We can pull them out. They're easy to get to. We also keep all of our cleaning rags over here in a magazine holder. You can buy one of these at Dollar Tree. And then the cleaners that I use every day, I have them in a little door organizer. So that's super simple. Now the hack that I want to do on this door is I want to put up a sponge holder. I'm always looking for a place to hold a sponge. So one option I got at Dollar Tree was this little sponge holder. It has section cups you can put it in your sink but I'm gonna put it on the door and see how well that holds up another option that you can do is you can buy one of these little sponge organizers in the kitchen section and then grab two of these little command hooks at Dollar Tree to hang on your door and that can hold a sponge as well and Moose is just gonna take a nap while we're filming this video he is not bothered <laughs> So this is falling off, not working. So you could probably use this in your sink, but it's not gonna work on your cabinet. Okay, so next we're going to try the command hooks and this container and see if it holds up better. So this works a lot better for storing sponges. You just have to be okay with it sticking out a little bit. I know they also have an organizer at Dollar Tree that's a little bit thinner, but we had trouble finding it. So this is great. You can pull it off and put any kind of organizer on there, but I think this would be a great option for your cabinets. So to give you guys a little behind the scenes, whenever I'm filming these videos in my kitchen, honestly, I'm cleaning up a lot, trying to make it look as nice as possible. I have areas where there's a bunch of stuff sitting out, but the part you see always looks pretty. And I was cleaning the countertops and I wanted to show you the simple recipe that I use for my pretty much everyday cleaner. I use it for so many different things around the kitchen. So I use a glass bottle, but you can use any bottle from Dollar Tree. And all I do is I grab some Dawn dish soap and I'll put, honestly, I don't measure it. I honestly just put a little squirt in there. And then I mix it with hot water. I fill it up like that and then put the lid back on. And then usually I get it a little messy. So all I do from there is just shake it up. Anytime it's empty, I just fill it up. And this is my simple cleaner. I use it on my countertops, my cabinets, my floors, really anything. Now, one thing I always like to buy when I go to Dollar Tree is their book bins or magazine organizers. If you guys wanna see what I'm buying at Dollar Tree, I post on my Instagram stories all the time at Liz Mimic DIYs. If you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you go do that. But these book bins are great. You can put canned food in here. One thing I like to do with the magazine holders is I store my water bottles. We actually have pretty deep drawers at my house, so I can put the magazine racks at the bottom and keep all of our water bottles nice and organized. It's becoming so much more trendy to have open storage where people are keeping out food and nice glass jars. I love that Dollar Tree has so many options for food storage. These cute little glass jars have a pretty airtight lids on them. You can use these to store any food items you have around your house, candy. You can leave them out where you may see them in an open pantry or on an open shelf. Really, there's so many different glass jar options that you could choose from at Dollar Tree. 
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.